Okay, welcome back everyone to Bound by Flame. Now, last time that I recorded is quite some time ago, so if I'm a bit rusty in my combat and all that, or in the lore or whatever, um, please forgive me for that, because yeah, I've been away for quite some time from this game, and uh, I thought I said we were going to speak to him to get some more lore. Greetings, mercenary. Greetings. I wanted to ask you. Let's ask him some stuff. Like, does he know the steward? Have you ever met the steward? He came to see the refugee several times, but I never spoke to him. I got the impression he couldn't stand us. He's the boss and we're the little people, see? Oh, that's... That's... That's stuff, yeah. The life of a refugee can't be easy. I've been a refugee for years. Five to be exact. All these years on the road. And believe me, it's never easy. But this village is a pretty good place. The healing house gives us food most of the time, and we're safe. That's not bad. Thank God you got uh, the healing house to keep you safe, because otherwise you'd be in one hell of a pickle. How are things going with the guards? Oh, we don't see them too much around here. They're basically here to guard the village. They don't give a shit about the refugees, so they keep their distance. Oh, that sucks. I hope for the steward's sake that he's not counting too much on them to keep him safe. I've seen lots of soldiers on the road, but as useless as them, never. Right, I'm leaving. Okay, so the steward doesn't really care about the refugees. Or, well, he visited them, but that's all... It's about it, and well, yeah. The soldiers don't care for the refugees either. They know what the hell is going on. What's over here? Explore a bit. Oh, camp. Oh, I can sleep here. Bonk. What did I get? Gold and raw metal. Henriette. Doesn't want to say a lot. Is... Uh, anyone home? No. Nope. Nobody home. That sucks. So I can... go through ah oh, forgot my buttons okay so that is not where I came in definitely not but I can sleep here which is great I guess because I can then restock and heal my wounds and all that seems kind of nice can I talk to you can I talk to you no Hey, it's Buffalo! Oh there, Powder Woman. You still didn't manage to blow yourself up? Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. Pretty quiet around here, huh? Yeah, too quiet for my taste. Do you really imagine the Dead Walkers are going to forget about this place just because this swamp is dangerous? No, no. but it'll slow them down, and maybe we'll see them coming. Maybe. Huh. You can bet your ass they're already here. There's something in the air that stinks, and I don't mean the locals either. I feel like the Ice Lords are watching us, right now. I have a few questions for you. What can I ask? Um... How are the blades holding up? We left some blood on the stones in the temple, but most of the company got away all right. Nice. But if we don't get some new recruits soon, things are going to get serious. The captain has sent some men ahead to Caraldas. I hope they manage to pick up a few recruits, and they're not too scabby. Right. Isn't there anybody in this village worth recruiting? Yes, recruit of the refugees. Yourself. There isn't a single man amongst the guards or the refugees that knows which end of a sword you're supposed to hold. We'll just have to wait and be careful. Now, in their defense, there is the concept of 
half swording in which you actually take the blade of your sword in your hand you know the cutting thing of your sword in your hand and you just pound away with the other half that's how they actually fought really trust me look it up so you made it out of the temple then i did i suppose my time's not up yet i guess that'll cause more gossip amongst the youngsters the eternal survivor my balls there are some days when i wish it would be over yeah right you're gonna outlive all of us and yeah well the most important question of them all the Deadwalker army. Can we defeat them? Do you think we can win against the Deadwalker army? Against the Deadwalker army? No chance. Now the Ice Lords, that's another question. What do you mean? Only that sometimes you have to try to chop off the head, you know? That bunch of walking corpses wouldn't be any trouble at all if there was no one to guide them. True. I guess you're right. But I don't think that makes the task any easier. There was a time way back, you know, when there were so many of us in the company, several hundred, that the captain decided to delegate. So he chose two lieutenants. Those two assholes fought over how to share out the men for weeks. They both wanted to take the best men for their group. And the result? We had our asses handed to us by an army that was hardly more numerous than we were. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the dead walkers are just the same. You've got seven bosses, and each one of them wants to control everything. Mm, interesting. So, if we could pit them against each other. Now you're thinking straight. I don't know how we could do it, but I'm sure that it's possible. Now, I don't... I remember Sybil over there saying the ex exactly the same thing, actually. We have to pit them against one another in order to defeat them. Okay, see you later. See you later. Alligator. Now I, I can go in there, but there's also over there, which I'll first do. Because that's the first thing we saw. And wait. No, those are my orders. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no. Ah. Put it away. Um. No! Yes! <laughs> Get to the captain and the steward in the village hall. Okay. I'm guessing that is not village hall. Yes, let's take a bath. We smell. We smell from all the fighting. Can I talk to you? Yes. You could at least answer when I ask you a question. Uh... You could at least answer when I ask you a question. Hello? Oh, yeah. Wait, what, what's happening over there? That does not look natural. How, what? How the hell is he lying over there? That absolutely does not look natural. Okay, um... Oh. Yeah, we're over there. My word. It's on account of that Nigella, ain't it? I take one look at her, and suddenly it's the end of the world. Okay. You okay? A lot of people aren't talking. That's not good in my book. I cannot talk to you. Okay. Open the door. You're right, Sybil. Let's go. Let's go meet the steward. Upgrading equipment. In the equipment. Okay. Here we go. Another one of these hick refugees. Do I look like a refugee to you? <laughs> I love that first one. I'm gonna use it. Call me a hick one more time, and I'll be using your face as an anvil. 
Uh, let's all remain calm, shall we? Please forgive my error. With all this commotion and all the thankless tasks I find myself confronted with, I often find my attention to detail slips. So, what can I do for you? Um, show me what you have for sale exactly. Show me what you Give have for sale. Give me weapon. Ah, uh, gold. So vulgar to work with. So wonderful to own. Yes. Wait, what? Don't I have one of those? I can buy a hammer? Neat. Ooh. Oh, I don't have enough monies. Wait. I need to see what I have. I have a cleaver. I have a slicer. And I have... Fate. Which is... A little bit worse. Can I craft something for it? Uh... No, I cannot. But then there's like this one uh thing about ooh maybe this one is gold. Yes. Speak to so, a sale. You have returned. What is your desire? Show me what you have. I wanna buy sale. stuff. I'm gonna have to <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. I want to grab this sword. Um, I, it's one minus one um, ability to interrupt, but the attack speed is better, and it has the same amount of damage um, as an upgraded weapon I have right now. So the base damage is equal to an upgraded sword. So. Of course I'm gonna buy it. Yes. Okay, now I'm poor. <laughs> Bye. But... Uh, no. Uh, b -b -b -b. Yes. Weapons. Let's equip fate. Can I... Oh. Whoa. More things to... Oh yeah, I can do this. Get 15 damage what is guard of the horseman what does that give me physical resistance no idea what i should get well i kind of do want the moon guard I guess wait what can i get for the pommel pommel of flame set on fire main weapon this po delicate palm is intended to add flame to the blows you land. Interesting. Disruption, impact, fire protection. Means hearth. The magic in this pommel protects the wielder from cold. Well, I have a fire demon inside of me, remember? How the hell am I going to get cold? Pommel of light. Protects the wielder from magic. From dark magic. Serpent's blood. The magic in this pommel protects the wielder from venom and poison. No, it should be dealing poison damage. Okay. Um... Oh, extra critical hit. But I need steel. Which I don't have. I'm thinking of going for this. Yes. And well, this gives me resistance and extra one extra damage. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. I can talk to two people.
Hop. Open this, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, I got a health potion. Neat. I can talk to... You? My goodness, let's see. You're not pissing blood, you're not vomiting your guts out. Both legs are in place and they seem to be holding you upright. Congratulations. It looks like you'll pull through. And now you'll excuse me, but I have other miracles to accomplish, and not much time to devote to people in your condition. Uh, excuse me for bothering you. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'd like to speak with you. Are you wounded? No. Are you a refugee dying of starvation? No. Hey, I'm a mercenary. We're always hungry. <laughs> Why don't you go roast a Chris alien and come back and see me when you're twisted in pain? Okay. Sorry, lady. I tried being nice. I tried being nice. Mason. Yeah, who are you? One of them fucking mercenaries, right? Yes, I fucking am a mercenary. mercenary. Yeah, sounds about right. You know what I call your lot? Or blades. I got no time for oars. You calling me a whore? You calling me a whore? You're calling me a whore? Now you see that one um, salesman over there that sells weapons and armor. Yeah, I was going to use his head as an anvil. I might do the same to you. Do not call me a whore, sir. Maybe if you were to do something about your bad breath, the whores would let you get close to them, you know? I'm just saying. Go fuck yourself, whore blade. Yeah, he's not gonna be... Uh, much help. Aha. We should loot the place. And care about refugees. Oh, um, wait. Ah, uh, give me my map again. Yes. You know, it's great that I have a map like this, but... You know, it's... It's a bit cumbersome, because it takes up a bit of the, the viewing. And I need to go in here. Okay. Go to Village Hall. They draw their power from the world heart itself. Swamp hmm. is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orendale was completely beyond her skills. Oh yeah, that one and lady we talked to. There is this beast story. Doubtless another fairy tale. The fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances. But we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. I'll go. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. <sighs> Silence. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough! What? You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But 
by the gods, man. What is... I'm a woman. This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, waving your limbs like fish taken from the water. Miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath. While I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It's not me. It is not she who speaks. All doth fall to ruin about you, yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it. They suckle it dry. Okay. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the world heart and liberate it from its servitude. The world heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth? Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Am I all right? Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. What the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with a captain and then... And then you lost control. I don't know. It's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth. But I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. Nope. No. It's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams, I think. Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. And it really? is clearly a spirit of fire. Yeah, no I'm shit. Kidding. I've got a demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's you and your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? Indeed. It has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the implications of this incident? Hmm. <laughs> What should I say? Because I've done some research on the game and there's several endings depending on your gender. Um, there's New Game Plus, so there's like replayability, replay value in this game. But I'm gonna replay it on the channel and get all the endings. I'm just gonna go for one. If it happens again a couple of days from now, they'll all start spitting and throwing rocks at me. I guess I'll have to watch out. I fear that is the least of your worries. Really? Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. I'll fight it. Ha! Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world heart. It will not hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear thy every thought. It is I who have been invaded. Hey. It speaks to you. Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it will crush your soul. Hey, take it easy. One at a time, huh? <sighs> I'm gonna go take a walk. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Ooh. We have... Side quests. Find the lair of the werebeast. A werebeast? Okay. What are my quests? 
secondary quests on Safari with civil and problems. Okay. Let's talk to the steward. Oh, I can loot. What brings you here? You got some work for me? The captain wants me to help your village. You got a job I can do? With our shortages of food and fighting men, our worn out equipment and the growing lines at the healing house, I cannot deny our village is sorely in need of help. Sadly, I fear that these are not the sort of problems you are used to dealing with, unless I'm much mistaken. Maybe I'll surprise you. Um, about the healing house. So what's the problem with the healing house? Quite simply, Marana cannot keep up. She spends every waking minute giving out supplies to the refugees and refuses to admit that she cannot help everyone. She thinks she's fooling me. I have heard rumors that her food stock is running low. Unsurprisingly, the crowds outside are becoming restless. I believe they wish to continue handing out our food reserves as though they were unlimited. This is not the case, and thus, it is not an option. So, you want someone to put her down? Why, I never suggested any such thing. I just wish she would see reason, for all our sakes. But I have asked nothing of you. I was merely answering your question. Yeah, you're asking shit about. Well, yeah. You want me to deal with it. You're not merely answering a question. Your sentries. How can I put this? At first, I thought they were disobeying orders. Now, I think maybe they don't even understand them. If you're stupid and incompetent, you should be digging turnips, not taking care of security. You're beginning to worry me. Is it really that bad? It is. Are you kidding me? The state of their weapons is enough to make you cry. Maybe they'd be good for splitting logs. Personally, I'm not capable of judging the aptitude of our sentries, but their poor results speak for themselves. Doubtless, you should share your observations with Mason, the chief of the watch. Oh. I should warn you, however, that he is that of a guy. somewhat stubborn nature. Wouldn't be the first I've seen. And what's about this beast? I need the reports about this beast that attacked the villagers. I fear I am unable to be of help. I'm still not entirely convinced that it even exists. All I know is that several villagers have vanished. One villager is at present in the doctor's care, following a supposed encounter with the said beast. These swamps are crawling with dangers. There is nothing to suggest anything out of the ordinary. The refugees are always inventing horror stories in an attempt to force us to open our gates and let them inside. It might be worth checking out. You said you lost one of your patrols, right? That is so. You should speak with Randvol. He was most anxious to go out and hunt the beast down, but we needed him here. Now that we have more able bodies to guard our gates, I imagine he would be keen to pick up the scent once more. Okay, let's change the subject. We'll talk we'll later. We'll talk again later. I want to go and loot this place. Yes. Mm -hmm. The order of the Freeborn Blades is of great repute. I didn't do anything. The mercenary does honor to its name. The mercenary's powers are both astonishing and fascinating. The knight would like to duel with the mercenary, that he may judge the mercenary's strength. Oh. Why not? I like sure. a good fight. I never turned down a good fight, but maybe we should take it outside. We don't want to break everything in here, do we? The knight is honored and bows to his adversary's wisdom. Wait for me here, Sybil. I won't be long. How do I fight again? How do I fight? I don't remember. Oh god, I do not remember at all. The knight hopes that his adversary will not hold back her blows. You can count on it. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, um... Can I use, like... Ow! Hey! Ow, 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 ow! Hey! Ow! He's a heavy hitter! Ow! We can win this! Hey! I can do this, you know. Hey. The knight has never before battled an adversary with such power, and he believes that she could be that which is needed to change the course of this war. Oh, you thank fight you. pretty good yourself. Yes, you do. Where'd you learn your moves? I can't believe you learned to fight like that in this backwater. The knight has traveled far and fought many battles. He has only lived in this village for a short time. What are you doing in the middle of these swamps when you can be making a difference on the battlefield? The knight has fought a great many battles, but he feels he can be more useful protecting those who have nothing left. Your mouth stopped moving when you were still talking. I have to go. I'm glad we could test each other's metal. That was fun. Before his adversary rushes off to fight other battles, the knight has a question for him. He wishes to know if the Freeborn Blades would like him to join them. Uh, I... We were recruiting. I'm not the one who decides who joins the company, but I can ask the captain for you. He has thought long on it and wishes it would be so. Well, that's great. I'll ask him, but I can't promise you anything. Ooh. Guardian? Did I get like... Oh, I got a sword, but it's like... Worse than what I... What I've had. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I, I'm glad with this. Um. Thing. Okay. Okay, we've done that. Wait, and what is the... Oh, the Were Beast is a main quest. Okay, got it. Didn't know. Now we should get back Sybil. Should get Sybil back. That's uh, a better sentence. No, go to village hall. And Sybil, come back with us. We need your healing powers. We need a healer in the party. Sybil? Sybil? Where the hell is she? Okay, there's Renval. There's the steward. 
there is Aeolus. There you are. Ooh, mercenary's helmet. Um, equipment. Aha! We equip it. Craft. What can I craft? Nothing. For the moment... Can I craft anything for this? No. Can I craft anything for this? No. And... Yeah, well... Okay, I think I'm I'm good. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. Come with me. I need your help. Come with me, if you want. Yes, Sybil has joined the group. Um, let's go, Sybil. Go to Velvenor. Yes. And uh, let's do the side quests first. I'll try to do as many quests as possible in my playthrough. And try to do as many side quests as I can. Before finishing the game. Okay. Ooh. Combine ingredients directly from the bag menu in order to obtain superior quality ingredients. Got it. Okay, the side quests are over here. But first... Now just hold on a little second. Where's the... Side quest for... Ranval. Let's quickly... Ah, over here. Um... Let's hide these markers. Nope. Anyway, okay, let's just talk then. Haven't you anything better to do than bother me? Hang we need to talk. Sec. The steward himself sent me here to give you a hand. Wonderful. I've been after him for months to get me some help, and he sends me an armed ape. You practice medicine, I presume? Your tools seem rather barbaric. Hey. I know how to concoct potions. Listen, if you show me the recipes, I could probably help you cook up some remedies for these people. Good idea, and it would be my pleasure to help you. That's very kind of you. Unfortunately, what we are missing most are the ingredients. Crap. In fact, there is something that you could doubtless do for me. I'm worried about my assistant, Heyman. I haven't seen him for a while now, and I fear he might have gone into the swamps to look for the plants I need. We're forced to venture further and further in to find the plants we need. With all that's been going on lately, I forbade him from going back out alone, but the boy is nothing if not stubborn. Ah, stubborn? Yeah, I hate people like that. <laughs> Please find him. He's a good boy. He's done nothing but help others since he arrived. Without him, the House of Healing would be a house of death. If I'm gonna go slogging through the swamps anyway, might as well take a look around and try to bring back the plants you need too, right? Yes, exactly. Good, good idea. Yes, that's a good idea. I would be grateful to you. But above all, try to bring back my assistant Heyman in one piece. He is your priority. For the rest, basically, I need food, medicinal herbs, and of course, I wouldn't say no to a few pre-prepared potions. All of our stock seems to disappear so quickly. 
I'll give you the parchment that I made for Heyman to help you recognize the specimens I need. He knows them by heart now, after so many trips. Right. Plants, potions, chow, and one assistant. If I come across some elven tea, would you like a cup of that too? <laughs> that would be lovely. Ooh. Let's talk about your healing house. Yeah, let's talk about the problems she actually has. I found you a few health potions. Here are five. Shit. I don't have enough yet. I'll be back. Hey! Later. Oh yeah, I had five. The beast. Have you heard any rumors about a beast wandering around in the marshes? They are not rumors. There is something in these marshes, and I have a patient in a coma that confirms it. Something? What does that mean? Where can I find it? I don't know exactly what it is. The wounds don't resemble anything seen around here before. What you seek is large, powerful, and obviously has enormous claws at its disposal. The wounded man was found west of the swamps, crawling towards the village. If you really wish to fall upon that beast, that would be a good place to start. But bear in mind the possibility that it may be the beast which falls upon you. Okay, I'll leave you now. I'll take my leave. See you later. Okay, we've gotten some more information. We got a new one. Okay. Now we have to talk to this stubborn. Do I have to spill it out? Or should I just put my boot in your arse? Clear off! Would you just shut your stupid mouth for two seconds, please? The steward sent me here to help you. Oh, that's all I need. Don't he think I got enough on my plate? Now he sends me some ore blade from God's nowhere. Hey, as long as it ain't me is paying for you, hey? You want to help? Knock yourself out. Well, I warn you, there's plenty to do. Get to the point before I set a torch to your breath. All right, take it easy. No need I to get him. nasty, eh? You want to help? Yes or no? Keep talking. Well, for a start, you can try and find one of my patrols that's gone missing. At first, I thought maybe one of those half-wits was sleeping it off under a tree somewhere. But it's been a while now. Maybe something bad happened to him in the swamp. I guess I could go back and check. What a coincidence. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Did After you do it? That, well, I suppose a pro like you, I guess you would be useful helping out the sentries. It won't be luxury. I don't know if you've seen what we're supposed to fight with, but... Wow, if you can have a word with your quartermaster to see what he can do for my lads, you have my blessing. The benediction of the drunk. Better and better. It's what all us fucking mercenaries dream of. All right, I'll see what I can do. Right, we may be living in the arsehole of virtue, but being armed like a bunch of tramps, we can do without. I don't and like you're him. At it, when you've been to the forge, you'll probably feel like letting off steam a bit. Why don't you go and take it out on my lads? No. What do you mean? Kick their arses so they can't sit down and get drunk instead of patrolling. And show them a couple of tricks while you're at it. A bit of training. Couldn't do no harm. Yeah, we'll start with that. Your men can't afford to keep their thumbs in their asses. It's time to teach them how to use those weapons. Knock yourself out, Payblade. I'll go and shake him away. Oh, now I'm a Beyblade. Whoa. Ow, ow. Okay. We can do this. She's healing me. Why did it? I couldn't have done better. I reckon the lesson is gonna leave a few marks this time. Have you got time to go again? 
while they're still warmed up. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Yes, heal me. <laughs> you need to go first. Um Okay. Um Guardian Flames. Hey. Come on. Thank you. Even so, they are making progress. If you whack them enough times, they remember how to defend themselves. Or are you up for giving them one last lesson? Not right Maybe now. Later on. If I'm not careful, I might break a few bones. I need my health back. Uh, I mean, come on. Um, how long have I been recording for? 48 minutes. I have made absolutely zero progress, actually. Take a look at... Well, I've got... Like, uh, a lot of side quests, suddenly. But some have been done. Um... Okay. Collect food for the refugees. Um, find Marana's assistant, okay. Okay. Take Heyman. So these quests are actually like one big quest together. Okay. Well, let's. Look at this, my favorite fucking troublemaker. Damn right, I'm a troublemaker. About those sentry guards. Yes. I hope your men have managed to remember a couple of moves. I plan to put them through a test where they'll take some licks. I'll get them fired up and ready to put their hearts into it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm dead. Come on. Now we just defend for our life until we we've gained some health.
Hey, hey, hey! Well, this is, uh... Burn. Hey. Hey. Just level up finally. They will save their lives one day. I hope so. My pleasure. I like this way of saving lives. <laughs> we got a, an axe called a Life Reducer. Um. Hmm. I kind of need that. Not a mule. I was going for... The Colossus, I think. Mm, not that I need anything of those. No. Oh, trapper. Yeah, no. No, yeah. Um, Let's go in the... To the warrior thing. Uh, what does this do? What are you? Physical resistance. Ooh, yes. Interruption resist, maybe. What are what are you? Ability to interrupt. Yes. Chance of critical hit. Plus twenty percent. Where are you? Um, radius effect. Where are you? Rage. Ooh. Where are you? War cry. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna get this one as well. I'm putting everything like in the. You know, the thing about the warrior stance. I've got the guardian, I've got the guard breaker, which is a hammer, and we've got the life reducer. I love the name. The life reducer. Okay, um diary side quest. I think we've done one. The greenhorn training. Okay, done that. I need to find the smith. We know where the smith is. Um, yeah. We just gotta go out. Outside. You're healing me? Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not really good at defending you, though. Let's go. The smith is somewhere over there. Smithy! Oh, Smithy. So, you have returned. What is your desire? I'm here on behalf of Mason. You got any of that famous elven bread that can feed a family for six months? Are you insane? Do I look like a baker? Uh, it's always the same, isn't it? Just because you have pointy ears, everyone assumes you slept oh. around with an enormous bag stuffed full of your land's most famous culinary delights. It's an elf. I'm afraid Didn't I didn't see that. And let me fill you in on a closely guarded secret among the elven people. Our bread is disgusting. Better that you eat sand, which would stay down easier, as well as tasting better. Get that forge cooking. You've got work to do. I don't want to see so much as a dent in the guard's armor. 
And we need some weapons with edges that will actually cut something. I don't even have enough materials to forge a single sword worthy of the name. Sorry, but if what you want were possible, it would have been done long ago. What's more, I'm not really a blacksmith. If you want an assembly line of weapons, I wouldn't count too much on me. But you're a smith. Yes, let's let's ask him what he needs. So, what is it you need? Everything you can possibly bring me. Metal, leather, coal, preferably in large quantities. A dozen or so pieces of each would make a start, I suppose. I'll take a look around and see what I can find. Yes. Let's ask about the beast. The steward said there was a beast attacking the villagers. This is what one hears, yes. Something is wandering through the swamps, devouring the reckless. The saddest part is that it's often the guards who end up lost, along with their equipment. Meanwhile, we are overrun with refugees who serve no useful purpose at all. Train the refugees. Okay, I'll come back I'll later. Back. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> oh, hello. Looty loot. Okay, I, I suppose I'm not allowed to upgrade. In that case. Hmm. Stocks. I actually have no idea where I'm going. But I see that I have loot. Loot. Loot? I have to be here. Ooh, hello. What's up here? Oh, hi guys. Um, back to Valvenor it is. Let's quickly take a look at our quest log, quest list. I think I'm gonna... End it. Yeah, okay. Um... I need one more food. What are these side quests? What are these side quests? I don't know. I know I need to get out. But where is out? Out should be that way. Aha! Uh -huh. More side quest markers. Which is great, of course. And they're going in this direction. So we're gonna check that direction. Okay. Hey, didn't I loot you before? That should be enough food. We'll see what Marana says when we get back to the healing house. Okay, but I don't have like the God, potions. People are amateurs. This village is about as secure as your granny's underwear. Not a single watchman at his post. It's worse than I'd imagined. Okay. I'll deal with this, Captain. Good. I'm counting on you. Remember, 
If you screw this up, we'll all be joining the ranks of the Dead Walker Army as soon as their scouts find this place. Mm. I might have found us a new recruit. Ranval, sir. Captain, I just fought a duel with Ranval, the guardian of the village. Before you start yelling about wasted energy, I want you to know that it was his idea. He's one hell of a fighter. He hits you like he was chopping down a tree. And he can take a blow and shake it off. He wants to join the Blades. Hmm. I have the feeling that every new recruit I take on these days is headed straight for the cemetery. But considering the losses we've suffered, I suppose I can't refuse. Bring him here to me. I'll check him out. The villagers told me about a beast. I need to find its lair. Hawk talked to me about that a while ago. He said he'd found some suspicious-looking tracks that led back to the northern swamps. Northern swamps. I'll go and follow the tracks. Where's Hawk? No idea. I sent him off to scout that part of the swamp, but he hasn't reported back yet. Oh, crap. Mm. He wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. Is that still happening? As long as we have to stay here, yes. Why? Just a question. Captain, I wanted Let's to. Let's see where we can ask him. Nah, not, nothing. I'm leaving. That's not what it said. Okay. Um, we have. Okay, we suggested that. And introduce Renvold to the captain. Okay, so. First and foremost, we have a side quest over there that we have to do. And then there's two markers over there that I don't know what they are. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the quest log. Um, yeah, that we still have to do. We have to go and get Ranval. We know where he is. Okay, I need to take the provisions to Mirana. And the five healing potions. I think I will um, do that quest. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do it next episode, but together, you know. And the potions and the provisions. Um, why isn't that the same thing? Because that's outside of the camp, probably. Then, yeah, well. This quest and this quest... Um, Go hand in hand. Um, okay, and then we've done that. We wow, we have a lot to do. We have like a lot, a lot to do. How do I make refined metal? Do I have that? Where is my bag? Usable item components. How do I craft? Seven raw metal? Oh! It takes four raw metal to make one refined metal. Crap. Wow. Wow, okay. How do I make a health potion again? Tainted blood. I need less stain. Uh, I need to get that perk or feat that gives me, like, the ability to use um, less components, fewer components, to make a health potion. Hmm. Decisions, decisions for the next level up. Um. Anyway, I'm going to leave today's episode here. I know I didn't get a lot done. i mostly talking here in the village or town of Valvenor. We're still having Sybil with us because we still have that side quest we have to do with her. And next up we're gonna finish up the Randfall side quest and we're gonna venture outside over there into the swamp and see what hellish nightmare awaits us there so thank you for watching 
बाय बाय